Today I'm going to show you how to prevent a dynamic line chart from dropping to zero in Microsoft Excel. Okay, so I have a line chart over here. And as you can see in this line chart, some of the data labels are showing a value of zero. And that's what I don't want to have. And I don't want that to happen. I don't want these zero values to be displayed. I want this line chart to only be visible for non-zero values. In other words, I want it to stop at this point where my cursor is right now. This is the last point uh, I want the line chart to be extended to. I want the rest to be invisible. And I don't want to see these zero values and I don't want to see this blue area, this extension of the chart when it's dropping to zeros. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you exactly how that's done. But before I do that, I'm going to just show you how this chart came to be. So I'm going to delete it and create it again. So this chart is coming from this data set over here. So I'm going to delete the chart and create it again, just for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to create the month and the profit column. And as you can see, there's a lot of zeros in the profit column, and that's what's causing uh, values to drop to zeros. Now, I want to select the full range because there are going to be future values inputted in these cells, which currently have zeros. So I want the chart to include the full range. However, I don't want the dynamic line chart to drop to zeros whenever we have zero values. So I'll create the line chart again by going to insert line chart, and I'll select it. So here it is. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add data labels by right clicking and uh, clicking on add data labels as so. As you can see here, by default, this line chart is dropping to zero whenever we have zero values. Now, in order to stop this from happening, here's what we need to do. As you can see here, the source data for this line chart is the month column and the profits column. And as you can see here, the profit column is consisting of formulas. So it consists of revenues minus expenses. Now, in order to prevent this line chart from dropping to zeros, I have to create an if statement in the profits column. In other words, I have to enhance this formula over here in order to modify these numbers, which are currently zero. And here's how this is done. I have to include an if statement and the syntax for this if statement is currently displayed on the screen over here. So I'm going to apply this syntax to these, this if statement over here. And if you don't even have a formula in the, your values column, in your say profits column, you can always create a helper column and include this formula and then uh, use that helper column as the source data for your line chart. So I'll go ahead and apply this formula right now as so. So here's how it's going to be. If the revenue field over here is equal to zero, we have NA with double parentheses in front of it, an open parentheses and a close parentheses, then a comma, and obviously the argument has to end with a closing parentheses. And that's it, I will click on enter now. And the next step is just dragging the formula all the way down to cover the full range. Now, as you can see here, the zeros have been replaced with NA and just by doing that, no longer drops to zeros when we have zero values in our source data. So it starts and ends exactly where we wanted it to start and end. It only applies to values in which there is positive data, in which the data is greater than zero. So whenever we have zero values, it's not extended to those zero values and the data labels don't appear either. And this neat trick will help us prevent a dynamic line chart from dropping to zeros in Microsoft Excel. And as I mentioned, now if your source data doesn't have formulas, you can always create a helper column and apply the exact same formula. You can apply the formula in a way that says, okay, whenever this value over here is zero, then you have NA open and close parentheses. Otherwise you'll have this value. So it doesn't necessarily have to look this way it could have different formats and then use that helper column as a source for your line chart. And this is how it's done. I hope you found this video useful. If yes, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't subscribed already, 
make sure to do so and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on my future videos. That's all for today. Bye now.